Help, help, I'm about to make a whole transmedia franchise and I don't know where to begin. That's okay. Mad About This Media is here to help. Ding. Right now there are five videos on this channel, including this one, talking about where to start in building a franchise and specifically what medium to start with. And just a disclaimer, I'm going to be talking about a lot of different software, a lot of different websites, and I'm not sponsored by any of them. These are just the free to use options that I would suggest for a client that I'm working with. If you are a video game developer, you probably already know way more than I do. But if you're looking to create your first video game, I recommend using Unity or Unreal Engine. Whatever style of game you're trying to create, there are hundreds of tutorials using either of those platforms. If you are interested in making a board game, a card game, or even a tabletop role-playing game, the best creation and distribution tool is the Game Crafter. There's a lot of formatting to figure out when trying to build your own game. Game Crafter has creator tools to help you figure out exactly what you need. If you are gonna create one of these games, you're gonna need artwork. So if you're not an artist yourself, finding someone who is an artist, whose style fits your need, is crucial. If you don't really care about the art style and you're more focused on the mechanics of the game, then using something like Canva can be great. Once your game is created, you can sell it right from the website. Or you can order physical copies for yourself and sell them in person. When it comes to computer games, websites like itch.io or Steam are the best source for distributing your games. Now there is an option for developing your game for distribution directly onto the Nintendo Switch, but there's a kit fee and an application process that I'm not at all privy to. And if all of this is super overwhelming and you are in need of help, I mean, that's what I do. I'm a transmedia producer. I, I do this for clients. So contact me, go to my website, go to my Fiverr, reach out, and we'll see what we can do. There are a lot of very creative indie games out there, especially in the horror genre. A lot of the titles that I have seen have really interesting high concepts and can totally branch out into so many things. But I think when it comes to indie games, the best narrative space belongs in the lore. I couldn't not say it like that. If you know, you know, you know? By creating a game that has an air of mystery or unexplained phenomena, you are planting seeds that can very easily be cultivated in other mediums. Writing short stories that explore unsolved mysteries, making a short film about the monster of your game, or doing a podcast about the theories behind the whole thing. And if you started with a board game or a card game, there are so many ways that you can explore the characters within that in other mediums. And of course, if you've made your own tabletop role-playing game, do an actual play web series or podcast of your campaign. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're excited to start creating some stuff. Um, the rest of the videos will be here somewhere. And as always, be safe, behave, and be creative.